Hey, what's up, guys? I take up and coming today with how to untail a jailbreak or 4.3.3 on the iPod Touch 4G. Now, this jailbreak do work on other devices like the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3, I mean the iPod Touch 3, and the iPad 1. It does not work for the iPod. The iPad 2 yet, but that will be coming soon. Now, just to show you that I'm on the 4G, you can see I do have a face, the FaceTime camera in the front and a camera on the back. Now, as you can see, as you can see, I do have a FaceTime icon, and I do. If I go into settings real quick, I do. Let's see if I can find it. I do. I am running 4.3.3. So this is so that's just to show you I'm M on 4.343. So without further ado, get right into the jailbreak. Alright guys, now that I'm on my computer, I'm just gonna show you all the pieces of software that you need to untell a jailbreak on 4.3.3. The first thing you need is red snow. The link will be provided below in order to get this red snow. This is RC15, so if you have RC12 or RC13, this would not work for 4.3.3. Cause this is the newest one right here and you need your IPSW and all this is is your firmware for your device. So all you want to do is open a red snow first and just hit open. And then all you want to do is browse for your firmware. So you just want to click that and then you just want to find your firmware 4.3.3 masses on your desktop i think your best place to keep your firmware is on your desktop so it's be easy to find as you can see just click that and you just hit open and it'll say processing your firmware it should take a few minutes or a few seconds rather and it wants to say ipsw successfully identify you just want to hit next and it'll be, be processing your kernel and, and doing all this other stuff and you just wait All right, now, now that you on this page, all you want to check so you won't mess up your jailbreak is install Cydia. But you can check a couple other things like allow boot animation. And it will just tell you the information how to enable this and stuff like that. And enable multitasking gestures. And anything, I wouldn't suggest checking anything else because that will mess up your jailbreak. But other than that, you can check these four, but I'm not because I only want um, enable battery percentage and in install city. Matter of fact, I don't even want enable battery percentage. I just, all I want is install city for this jailbreak, but you can check all the ones I showed you. So once you have that checked, it's, all you have to do is hit next. It will tell you to power off your device and plug it in and put it in DFE mode. So I'm going to be back on the iPod showing you how to do that. Alright guys, now I'm back on my iPod and now I'm just going to show you how to enter DFU mode. It's pretty much a simple process. All you want to do is hold down the power and hold button for 10 seconds. And then release the power button and just continue holding the home for another 10-15 seconds. And then release it. Now you will get a black screen for this. so. You will not see anything, so if you don't see anything, you know you enter DFU mode. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm about to go back to the Mac. All right, guys, now that I'm back on the Mac, I'm ready to hit next. And when I hit next, all it's going to show me is how to enter DFU mode. But since we already did it, it's going to blow past that step and go right into the jailbreaking process. So let's hit next. And as you see, it will just blow past it and start jailbreaking my device. Cause since we already went into DFU mode, and if you didn't enter DFU mode mode right, then you will not see none of this, and you will just have to enter DFU mode again. When your device does get to this stage in red snow, all you want to do is hit finish, and it will be pretty much done with the software, and the rest will happen on your iPod. Alright guys, now that you can see, my device is jailbreaking because I have all these coding on my device as you can see all right there. And this to show you, this still is the iPod Touch 4G. As you can see the camera right there, I don't know if you can see it or not. And all it's doing is jailbreaking. And as you can see, when you see this, you should know that your device is successfully jailbreaking. And it will just power off and just power back on. 
Alright guys, now that my device is powered back on, as you can see, now as you can see, I do have Cydia, but the reason it's white is because I need to open it up for the first time, and I'm just going to do that right now, and I'm just going to open up and prepare file systems and, and stuff like that. This just take a minute, so I'll be back after this is done. So as you can see, guys, my Cydia does work without any problems. And it does work pretty fine. This is Cydia. So if you had any doubts, not any doubts anymore. And if I go all the way down, it would say iPod Touch 4G. Runny. Wait, this, let it zoom in for a minute. Runny iOS 4.3.3. Cydia 1.1.1. So this is Cydia. If I just go back to the home screen, the reason it's white, it returned back to the regular color. I say in a couple of minutes, but for some reason, my device it stays white for a couple of minutes, but it's gonna change eventually, so don't worry about that. And if I could just go into settings right here and it's go to general and about, it is running. Wait, if I can find it, it is running version 4.3.3. So that's how you joke. That's how you untether joke, right? 4.3.3. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash itakehelping. Yeah, that's pretty much it in this video. Hope to catch you in the next one. Alright, guys. Bye.